Hey everybody, welcome to the very, very tired Disc Only Podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that tracks. That tracks, I'm John. (laughs) I'm Tom, and I I want uh, to follow that up. I wish we had a slowed down version of the theme song. Uh, (sighs) you know... (laughs) No, you you guys all forget the options that you know uh, OBS comes with. So here it is. At oh three, yeah, here's twenty five percent speed. Twenty five percent. Oh god. Oh god, this is demonic. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was Halloween, so yeah, we're like, like a the, day off though. The genocide run of uh, Welcome. Undertale. Welcome to the Disc Only Podcast. We get a Vincent Price laughing in the background. <laughs> Demons. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. No, oh my god, the no. jingle sounds so bad. Slow down to 20 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> On the flip side, how about 200%? Oh god. Oh, let's hear it. This, this could be the show. It's already done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> I kind of dig Bro, it. That's a, I that's a, like that, uh, well, that, I mean, that, that, that's when we start all start uh, uh, shooting up methamphetamines. That's the uh, theme song for that. <laughs> oh, my God. It just sounds like one of my, my drum casts, honestly, because people give me <laughs> stuff like that all the time. It's like, play this, and I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> oh, yo, the 75% is kind of like a nice slow jam. It's uh, it's vaporwave. Yeah, there you go. Nice, nice. Oh, we need that. We can, like, we can really be cool truly aesthetic. neon. <laughs> and that warm, like retro- record scratching sound, like when you put a when you put a record on, it's got the like you hear like the pops come before the uh, the music starts up. Mm. You've you've put me down a terrible road. You can tell I'm tired of him just doing stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I like it. Welcome to the welcome to the theme only podcast. <laughs> this is working great for the audio version that now Dan has to put all of those in there. You might want to you might want to say what, you might want to say what percentage you're running that out loud so that way because you did one more after that that I saw. I, no, I, I've said I, them all. That was one twenty five. So that was one twenty five. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dan, By the way, Stephen and Jared are also here. here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why We're introduced here. myself earlier? Didn't you hear me go? That's like, a good that point. Was, that was my oh. name. Okay, then I guess it's my turn. I'm Jared. <laughs> wow. Right, you know what? That deserves an intro play. I introduced myself at oh 200 my God. speed. Oh my God. <laughs> that's 169 percent 169 percent okay that, that is my good. energy like that, that, yeah that, that's jared's speed yeah dan, dan is going to kill you i just want you to know like, i hate this <laughs> there's no part of this that is good for for anyone that has to do the post that's which the, is the just editing one person. Just what, dan. what's that one percent i'm on it Oh my god. <laughs> it's not even moving. It is not even moving. And, and for the, uh, the, at the, uh, what does it sound like? Is, is there even any audio for it? Hang on, I might have to jump ahead. I cannot wait for you to inadvertently break OBS. I, I think I am breaking OBS because it is not happy. Yeah, there's like, <laughs> I don't think there's any sound in there. Either that or it's too low for our human it, ears it to hear. It might be too low. All the dogs and demons are freaking out right now, but. Yep. This one like little slice of Steven is doing great. Yeah. <laughs> Man- manatee's, manatee's up like on uh, like on my chair wondering what that noise is. It's, it's is moving. A... It is moving. This is a really good start. <laughs> Come on. Where's oh, the next give me the next frame? Bro, this is like Fine. snail race. Fine. You gotta earn the frame. There it is! <laughs> earn these frames. These frames. They don't. They don't come for you when you want them to. It's. It's a. You gotta want it with your heart. <laughs> and it knows if you don't want it good enough. I mean, it really. 
What are we talking about? <laughs> we, have, Steven, we haven't really started anything. So I've, I've got, I've got a question for you, Stephen. When when Extra Life ended, did you take the snail costume off the baby? No. Good. That because that, that like, was, that was a test, and you passed. Because no, 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 do not skin the baby. Well, or, yeah, what? but also, why would you take that thing off? It's beautiful. It improve the bit. Sorry, I guess I have to explain this, right? Yes, please do. I <laughs> I don't even know. Let me, Jared. Let me tell you a thing or two about skin and beans. <laughs> All right. And it's, let me tell you a thing or two about Snaby. Snaby. Um, okay, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do a brief explanation of this. <laughs> so uh, over the over the past weekend, uh, we did uh, our annual Extra Life event. It was the 11th year we've done it. Mm -hmm. um, raised a bunch of money for the Children's Hospital. That was great. And a show was like 20 hours long. It was very entertaining. It was a good show. Um, so leading up to the event, since we're playing through the Wii library, um, one of the peripherals that was sent in uh, over the past few months was the babysitting mama baby. And when mm. the babysitting mama baby was sent in, it did not come with a diaper. And, <laughs> and it, the retail version came with a diaper, but this was a this was a used baby, and it didn't have the diaper. So um, I had asked my, my good friend Haley, who is a sewist, to make a diaper for the baby. So Haley did that and made something that was better quality than what shipped in the retail package. Like, the, the diaper was better quality than the baby. <laughs> and then she was like, could Don't I hold that. on to the baby for a little bit longer? <laughs> and I was like, yeah. She's like, I just have an idea. <laughs> And I was like, sure. So she ended up spending 40 to 50 hours making a Halloween costume for the babysitting mama baby. <clears throat> and did it was, a, it was a big secret. We weren't allowed to see it until we started Extra Life. Because the first game we started with, by a wide margin, was uh, babysitting mama. Mm. So me and Mao like, had our eyes closed. And she presented this thing to us. And it is the first boss from Final Fantasy VI, the Welk. Which is a long, like, super old, like, running joke from an, an old Extra Life where I fought the Welk in Final Fantasy VI for, like, an hour because I kept attacking the shell. <laughs> You're not supposed to attack the shell. But she had made this costume for, uh, for the snail, for the, for the baby in this big snail outfit, and it was amazing. And I guess I you could show it. I just have to like get you a photo, which is so beyond my mental capacity at this particular <laughs> moment. But I will get you one so I can show it. So like I I did end up like I did end up rating you for that event, but I did not see a snail baby. Like I did not see that. That's surprising because it was on the screen for any time. Like Haley was on the screen, she was holding that snail baby. I, I did not even notice. And like after a stream, I'm usually so exhausted. I'm just like, hey, here you go, raid time. Woo! You know, and I, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, okay. Oh, there's something weird on that screen. Doesn't bother me. I'm going to go get some food. Like, <laughs> I just don't day. even, yeah, I just didn't even like uh, 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 register that there was anything weird going on. I think my favorite part of that extra live stream, which everyone here is legally obligated to watch, uh, was the. <laughs> Uh, Fox only Final Destination DK Bongos only match in Smash Bros. Four. Oh my God! Yeah, fun fact: you can play Smash Brothers with the DK Bongos. <clears throat> fun was fact: it? it's a bad idea. <laughs> what was it like? The right, the right bongo was the B button. The left bongo was the A button. If you hit them both at the same time, you jumped, and the microphone was your shield. Oh man! Yeah. So you're just like oh! every time you wanted. That's to exactly him. what it was like. Oh man! Yes. Good lord! Like. I so it's it's basically just a MIDI controller. So like, yeah, that makes sense that you'd be able to play with it. I do what? like the idea of the scream for the shield, though. That's freaking fantastic. I do have a uh, uh, <laughs> an idea to improve upon that because in some of those Smash Bros. games, you can just map the you can map the buttons. Yeah. So you get left movement on the uh, on Ooh. the left bongo, or, or yeah, left movement, left bongo, right movement on the right bongo, uh, both to shield and. Um, Hey, while we throw in for good measure, uh, <laughs> how about uh, how about screaming to attack? <laughs> That's just fantastic. So we finally got Snavy up on screen. Um, oh, so okay. when when Haley made this, she did leave room to like get the Wii remote into it, so it's still functional. And let me tell you, burping 
the the, the <laughs> snail creature from Final Fantasy VI is a wild, wild experience. It's like a. <laughs> That's a that's a dream sign or something. Like, well, it's like, also it's yeah. also just like really well made. Like it's a it's just a really high quality plush and it's real cuddly and fun to hold. So that's well. That's, I imagine like I mean, smacking that thing in the shell would cause like like reverberations to go all throughout it. To which Mama would, would respond, "No, no, no! Don't shake the baby." <laughs> I do I do love the fact that that's actually like a line in that game. Yeah, I've never it played was, it. I mean, it's. It's easy to shake the baby. Very <laughs> Not easy. because you're like angry at the baby, but but like <laughs> it's hard to know, especially when it has a, a a giant shell on it. It's hard to know like the uh, the correct velocity of hand in the back to well, like it, make it register. It's a snail, so I'd imagine very slow. Yes, <laughs> exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, um. By the way, a quick side note: if you hear if you hear screaming come through my mic, uh, it's Erica. She's playing Splatoon with uh, Massey right now, and, and she is losing her mind in some of the fights. So, if... oh man, I know that I, I should like a, I probably should have started with the fact that she was playing Splatoon and not just screaming. But, yeah, starting, <laughs> starting off with the fact where it's like where it's like if you hear screaming in the background, that seems like it'd be followed like that's just the guy I have on the rack right now. <laughs> yeah, I was like waiting for Jared to say like, yeah, if you hear screaming, that means I've died. But it's just like yeah, keep going. That's, that's, if you hear screaming in the basement, <laughs> if you hear screaming, that means some guy is trying to escape the Iron Maiden. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Yeah, they're oh. having like they're having like a uh, a fun like uh, girls play Splatoon night over on Masay stream right now. So they're they're going nuts. <laughs> I like I like this comment. <laughs> my wife is screaming. Just ignore her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That sounds like that like uh <laughs> like a like you know how like be, when people parody the 1950s, there's always that like that like layer of like what what women were treated like back in that era. Uh, <laughs> I don't like the awkward silence that, that came no, out. I, I didn't know how to respond. <laughs> <laughs> just like, whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> well, just just like the, 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 con the hearing, just like if you hear screaming in the background, just ignore it. Oh. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Gotcha. Um, <laughs> the other thing that happened uh, besides Extra Life was uh, the holiday called Halloween. And I know for a fact that John was dressed up. Yep. I saw uh, a little a little section of that where you were in a an aqua bat costume. You really hesitated on that. But yes, I dressed up as one of the aqua bats. <laughs> Sorry, my brain processed half of that word and left aqua. me hanging. <laughs> you, you, were, you, were oh. you were dressed as aqua Man, Aquafina. I have a. <laughs> here, here's an accurate representation of last night's stream. It's just, yeah. it's just this GIF looping over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> it's John looking like he's. John, are you dead? It, it, it's it's interesting because like your I'm... expression changes how you're moving. It looks like you're thinking, but it also looks like you're dead in some regards. And, I like, don't even remember what the original regards. context was why I made that face. I think someone said I looked nice, and I, that was my my oh thank you pose. And then I kept trying to lock my eye in position onto the camera so I could see what it looked like, and then it just became this <laughs> whole ridiculous loop. Bro, you you look like one of those statues that like follows you around the room. Yeah. yeah, the fact that your <laughs> eyes are locked on and not yeah. moving with those your body paintings. is very concerning. Yeah, you're it's welcome. like one of those one of those paintings that's like always watching you no matter where you're standing. I freaking love that. <laughs> if, you want, if you want to see the the costume without me uh, looking like I'm dead inside, oh, actually, it's full screen. Why don't we go need that? There you go. There you go. Ah, nice. Okay, this is John as an aquabat. Yeah. Now, am I imagining this, or have you dressed as an aquabat prior? You are imagining that. Get out. Yeah, the costume showed up like a week before Halloween. So, yes, you are I... definitely imagining that. God, I feel like I've seen you dress as an Aquabat in the past. I have Aquabat shirts. One of the many dreams. I have Aquabat <laughs> shirts. Maybe that's what you're thinking of. But previous years, uh, Weird Al, 
Um, <laughs> the Weird yeah. Al costume was really good. That was good. Yeah. I'm trying to think of what else I've worn for Halloween. Because the only costumes I can think of are like Buff Ton, Rosa, Weird Al, Aquabats. Oh, uh, right. When we did the murder mysteries, I did the werewolf. Uh, I did the the carnival barker. And there's another one in there. Hooray, so. hooray, hooray. Step right up. Step right up. I went the easy route and I just dressed up as my VTuber avatar because I was like, I was super tired yesterday and I was like, I don't know what else to dress up as, man. Yeah, that was going to be my question. I, I wanted to know what everyone did for uh, Halloween, if anything. I ran out of time on a costume. Uh, I was planning on just like pulling. I had one of those uh, those horse heads, like those um, <laughs> latex horse masks. Yeah, so I was planning on wearing that, but it was a pain in the ass to take to uh, put on and take off. Um, and I wanted to eat and drink at the party, so I decided at the party I was going to rather. So I decided not to uh, not to wear it. <laughs> I could just I just got an image in my head of you trying to eat something, just putting your whole fist through that freaking <laughs> horse's <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I mean, you got to do what you got to do. Exactly. <laughs> you got to make things happen. Dude, I, so like the I... Host, the, the host was really sweet about those. Like, oh, no, you're just dressed as a Twitch streamer. <laughs> Fair. Um, <laughs> freaking, I went and got so much candy because the year before this one, um, we had like 300 visitors to our house because we live in a neighborhood where a lot of people come and like... You know, it's a safe neighborhood, so everybody just comes here throughout the town. And like, I went, I was like, "All right, I am freaking ready for it this year." I went and got like twenty bags of candy, and we got forty people. I have dude, so much candy. We had dude. so <laughs> few as well. I feel you on that. Like, just, I don't know like, why no one showed up this year. Where did they go? They just like they just didn't do Halloween this year. It was very strange. But yeah, I have like. I have more candy than my body knows what to do with. Like, I'm just like, oh, my God. Yeah. Another Butterfinger? Any of y'all want Butterfingers? Anybody in the chat want a Butterfinger? I'll freaking <laughs> throw it to my screen. You can have it. Emil apparently <clears throat> got no one. What? Yeah. He had planned. Apparently, he, he was telling me while I was there. Uh, he picked up, like, Pokemon booster packs and full-size candy bars to give out. No one Dude. showed up at his house. Bro, I, he, uh... he, I saw that tweet where he said he ate three and gave one to a repair guy. Yeah. I I actually uh I did the same thing last year. I gave away a couple of Pokemon card packs uh to a, a few of the neighbors that I knew were actually into it. So I was like, "Frick yeah. That's cool." Like uh, I like that we we're on the same wavelength there. Wavelength. Cannot talk. <laughs> I tried yeah. uh I also tried baking cookies uh as well. I, it was a recipe that I found off of TikTok. And it would have turned out great except for two things. One, I made the uh, the dough balls way too big, which caused two. They were very underbaked. Oh, yeah! I want some cookies now, man. The Freak. dough was the, the it, they were delicious though. They were apple cider cookies. Delicious. Oh yeah, they had like uh like Sorry. all that. They all had all that like like spice that you'd want in like an apple pie, just in a Ooh. cookie. The the dough the dough was divine. It was oh, fantastic. Um, it's just that I didn't quite get the cookie right. That just that sounds wonderful. I'm very hungry. <laughs> Even though I just had dinner, I've just been like starving recently because I just got over being sick. So my body's just like, yo, eat, eat, Fricker. You need to eat more. <laughs> we did. Um, <laughs> everyone was really exhausted from Extra Life. So we did a real, real casual Halloween party where we gave out some stuff to the kids at the Waffle um, House. We did not do the Waffle House. <laughs> Uh, Haley wanted to, uh, do Pokemon drawings. Like she, she had the, like coloring sheets and Aww. a bunch of us did them. And I actually, I, I do have, again, sorry, uh, audio listeners. You'll just have to, I'll describe it. You'll have to I use have your image. very vivid Wait, imagination. Do I have an image? Yep. Hold I'll just, I'll describe it. That's, that's what I do. That's what I'm here for. It's my I job. Definitely... on disc only. I describe <laughs> images. <laughs> Carly on the screen right now is the words disc only podcast with, four he <laughs> with the four heads of me and my co-hosts, as well as on the right side, you can see chat underneath the Proton John logo. It's not, it's not just our four heads. It's our whole head. Now on the screen oh, wait, is I'm in the idiot. Uncle Bat's costume, uh, the, the gif of him uh, making that, that strange face, trying to look at the camera up oh, and now it's gone. 
Uh, Tom, <laughs> can you please give us a uh, a audio like rendition of the noise that John would be making if he was making a noise in that picture? Uh... That's perfect. That's exactly it. <laughs> that was exactly the noise. Okay, hold on. I got the stupid. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, here, I have the image, and I didn't have the image. And now we are listening I... to the Disco Only Program, brought to you by several people who want the Disco Only Program to be a thing. Now, hold on, I got it. Give me a. <laughs> oh my god. I have it now. Hold on. Oh, the audio listeners on. are going to crucify us. I Bro. had it. And I realized that my drawing wasn't in it, so it wasn't acceptable. <laughs> it's like, oh no, I'm God. Mine. <laughs> yeah, mine has to be there. All right, here, this is it. This in this week's episode story. of the Disc Only Program, Stephen George fails to find the the the, the, the drawings that he's looking for. More of what hilarity ensues. I got it. I got Dan did a few of these. Josh Josh Shepson did a few of these. I, I did the little Venusaur on the left. That's, if you're if you're listening to the audio, just imagine that thirty year old's colored pictures of Pokemon. I don't <laughs> yeah, you. no, these are these aren't drawings. These are, like are these drawings or the coloring book pages you printed? They're coloring out? book pages. Okay. Yeah. They're beautiful. They're all beautiful. If you're what if you're listening, they're perfect. I'm glad you all <laughs> wrote your ages down on the sheet. So just to <laughs> really bring it together. Incredible. Here. Yes. Well, you I mean, a, you used a very dark blue on Venusaur's face. I okay, so I did Venusaur from memory, and in my head I was like, I'm pretty sure Venusaur's head's a different color. And as soon as I started doing it, I was like, it is definitely not. <laughs> but I also like late. the uh, the I also like uh, black light pseudo wudo on the bottom right there, bro. He's vibing like legit. I love. Yeah, that. I think it's inverted. I th Haley did that one. I believe it's inverted. Mm -hmm. And to those listening to the audio podcast, the uh, pin to the wall are. Uh, Mm -hmm. coloring book pages of different Pokemon, each uh, colored in by people uh, the age of somewhere between 20 and 30, and like 35. Yeah, we, you know, we're all just living our best life coloring Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know how old Brandon is, so that that's why I, I went, I lowballed it. <laughs> he's like mid-20s. That Parasect looks 25. like he's seen some crap, man. Does that Parasect have like, have veins on its eyes? That parasect uh, is not vibing. <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Yeah, oh, man. One... <laughs> There's a lot more resolution to this image than I I realized. <laughs> we just keep zooming in, and it's like, yeah. why I'm is like, it so Whoa, crisp? John, how far can we go? Jesus, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hang on, I might have zoomed in a little too much. Hang on. There we go. There oh, we go. I can see. Let's wow, I can see grain. the individual yeah. grains. The, 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 yeah, the, the grain wall. on the wall. We're we're like zooming around this image, and John keeps zooming in. <laughs> Incredible. Very impressed. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I sure? buy an iPhone. I guess I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, so real Not talk. Brought to you by man. Apple. I freaking uh, I got the, uh, the like the new iPhone 14 XS, whatever the heck, the the, the good one, and Pro Max. like yeah, Pro Max. So. Me and Erica went to the beach and like we had just gotten the phone. So we we were just like, frick it. We want to go to the beach and just relax with a couple. Of, it was whenever um, Jack and Sheena were visiting because Sheena actually ordered a new iPhone because they didn't have any in uh, in <laughs> back over in Texas where they lived. So they just, she ordered one the night before we had to go like an hour over to another town to go and pick it up for, her, which we were just fine with doing. It was a good little adventure. So we went to the beach and I freaking took a picture of me and Erica and I was absolutely floored with the color of the sky that it was able to pick up on that phone. Like I like that is probably the best iPhone camera I've ever seen in my life. This is not an ad, by the way. I I'm mean, just it, freaking amazed. It, it's the new one, right? Yeah. So it is the best iPhone camera. <laughs> yeah, well, well, yeah. No, I mean, I'm just talking about like I'm talking about. Uh, sorry, smartphone camera. Sure. Yeah. It. Yeah. yeah. Just in general, smartphone good now. Like there was a time smartphone was okay. Mm, smartphone good. Yeah, smartphone. Smartphone good. good. Like ninety nine percent of people should not own a camera. Smartphone good. Just buy a smartphone. Yeah. God, I, I, you don't even need a computer. Most people don't even need a computer. You don't even need yeah. a computer. Just buy but, a phone. <laughs> you Lord. can you can make like 
you can make uh like a full on presence on like TikTok and Instagram with just a cell phone now. Like you don't have to do hardly anything else. Like it's I mean, ridiculous. Oh, we're sitting here and the the kids are all gonna be like, You mean you don't have a motherboard welded to your brain? <laughs> God, I wish. <laughs> like people people need computer. I'm not saying people don't need computer, but I'm saying most people most people don't need computer. The yeah. audience that are listening to this right now, they're probably in the subset of people that they're like, mm, they want a computer. They want to play like oh, a yeah, game. Yeah. <laughs> but most people, most people don't need a computer. Yeah. They can it, like you got your Minecraft, their... you got your Fortnite. Oh my like, god. For, for gaming, you got you got all that on phone. What you got people all that on use phone, phone for? What what do people use phone for? They got to do their like their banking, they got to do their <laughs> Facebook, phone they gotta, calls. Like, what? No, not that. What's a but phone like call? Other things. Dude, no, I know no, no, so many people that don't use their phone for phone calls and it drives me insane. Bro, all I get is freaking spam phone calls because I used to run a business. I don't answer my phone at all, dude. You know what? That's They're fair. like, hey, would you like a $250,000 home or like uh, small business loan? I'm like, yeah, if I don't have to pay it back. Like, geez. Then it's not a loan. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know that grand. you understand the concept of, of the word loan. Well, listen, I, I, I understand the concept of I wish that they would stop calling me about my car's extended warranty. Okay, I'm sick of it. Well, have you ever once considered extending your car's warranty? Hi. <laughs> I'm from the... <laughs> oh, no! They're yeah, in this the, is... in the He's podcast. one of them! Yeah, Christ. this going link has actually been a lead-up to advertise the extended warranty. <laughs> your, your car's extended warranty. It yeah, all makes sense now. It's been a long now. con. It all Bro, gotta, makes gotta... sense now. Gotta buy food somehow. Brought to you by. <laughs> oh uh, man! Speak of uh, by five guys, not burgers and fries, but five guys making the podcast. <laughs> literally five people. Yeah. Jared, speaking speaking of Sheena, uh, I, mm. I got to hug out with Sheena and Jack uh, uh, a couple weeks ago because hey, I didn't know they lived in Texas. Um, <laughs> but um, uh, I want to know if this thing that Sheena told me is true. Do you hate it when people try to pay for stuff for you? <laughs> yeah short answer. <laughs> short answer is yes i like i like treating my friends you know i like treating my friends like i don't i don't like people like i don't want people uh paying for stuff whenever we're out and about but if somebody gets me they have to try really freaking hard yep. to get me. <laughs> they have to try really hard they have to wake up a couple hours earlier get on the right side of bed to get me man let me tell you what exactly how she described it Bro, so I was, <laughs> so I was in uh in Canada for where, 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 oh what was it? Uh, Con Bravo. Um, I was in Canada for Con Bravo, and I went out to eat with a bunch of friends at a poutine restaurant for the like the first time. Or it's like a, I don't know if it was a poutine restaurant, but it, it was, was probably smokes. That. Yeah, yeah, that, that's it. Um, yeah, because we ended up eating there, which was really fun. Um, anyways, so we're sitting there on our first night there, and like I got a buddy named Bonds. Bonds the Bard is his name. He streams on Twitch every now and then. Um, and like, he freaking got me. And what happened was I went, so I went to the bathroom quote unquote to go and like, you know, take care of the bill or whatever. I found our, I found our waiter, uh, while I was uh, like, you know, acting like I was going to go to the bathroom. Cause I wanted to make sure I didn't want people to be like, Oh no, don't do that. I wanted to get them before it. So I go and find the waiter and the waiters, I go, Hey, uh, I want to take care of the bill. He goes, it's already been taken care of. I'm like, by who he goes, they said for me not to tell you, and I looked him dead in the I looked him dead in the eye, and I'm like, "Who paid for this meal?" <laughs> so, so I walk back to the table, and I'm like, "All right, who the frick did it?" And Bonds just goes, <laughs> just starts freaking giggling, and I'm like, "I couldn't hold it together." I could not believe it, man. Like he what? he got me. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, you make it sound like it's a prank. <laughs> Right, it kind of is because that motherfucker <laughs> later on that year, later on that year, he mailed me a one hundred dollar gift card to Moe's so he would buy my food at Moe's for a little while for me. <laughs> 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 I was so distraught, very, All very right. grateful, but well, distraught. You've heard it here first, folks. If you want your friends to prank you with money and free stuff, then act like you really don't want people to pay for it. Right? It's not a it, listen. It is not a uh, reverse psychology thing, man. I, <laughs> I just freaking I like like so. This all this all really started with uh, a buddy of mine named Jason Paradise. He um, like we would go and hang out and stuff, and he, I would always get him, but he would always try to get me back. Right. Like he would always try to get me every time. Cause I, we kind of made it a game and like, 
he was he just was never able to get me because every time he thought that he had me like i would have gone to like you know i would have gone to the waiter just like i did up in con bravo like way before he had the chance to pay for it so it was always hilarious because he's just like i got you this time i'm like oh no you freaking don't <laughs> but yeah no so what sheena said was very true um <laughs> i i get, I get that i get that from my dad honestly like he uh he's he's always been like that he's like yo don't don't you know always always make sure everybody has a good time you know what i'm saying if you can afford it of course but but yeah um it's always it's always been like ingrained in me to take care of my friends and stuff i have a i, I have a strategy that that might be able to help you out with this but it's a it's a <laughs> it's a little risky and maybe you've already thought of it before anybody order uh orders pull the waiter <laughs> aside and have the have them start a tab for everything they're ordering but don't tell them about the tab wait what I'm confused. That's just so, the check. Right, but you do it before they even order any food. So that way there's no way they can get you. Uh, well, I, I usually do it in a secret way, though, because I don't want them to know. Right, but you, but you do it before the food is ordered, so that way... Like, so, so you have to run ahead of like all of your like, friends and make sure none of them are in audio well, range? Not even that. Like, like, be sly about it. Like, oh, I've got to go to the bathroom or something along those lines. I that's, guess it depends that, on... But you order... You do that immediately. Like literally, you get food or drinks like right away. So you don't know who your server is at that point, probably. True, Tom. I'm very tired. Uh, what? <laughs> well, that was John that was speaking. So wait, no, I, no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. Like that's why I didn't understand what you were trying to say. I, get it now. Like, I mean, like you're just talking about like Moe's and like a, like fast food places, right? Yeah. Oh, my, my, so my mind went to Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> So, so one of my favorite things uh, as well is whenever we go, whenever we go to a uh, like, let's go to, let's say we go to Moe's, right? Um, and there's the line or whatever. I always, I always go first because if I go first, I'm just like, yeah, just get everybody down on that line there. <laughs> just like get everybody down to that person right there, and then like they get mad at me. So, so what people like now everybody's gonna know my freaking secrets because I'm saying this on the podcast. Uh, but <laughs> like. Whenever, whenever I do that, like people always try to go in front of me now. Whenever they go to order, because <laughs> they, they don't want me to get it. It's really funny. That's when, like, that, that's when, like, one of them pulls out their phone and goes, "Oh no, I already got it, and they ordered online beforehand." Bro, I would be so livid. I'd be like, "Oh my god!" Great. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh man. But yeah, that, that's just one of those things that, like, uh, I always want people to have a good time and not have to worry about stuff. So. But yeah, what she said was absolutely accurate. Like, to the T. <laughs> <laughs> that, nice that, that was a nice surprise learning that Jack lived, uh, lived here. Yeah, uh, yeah, they're, they're having a good time over there. I, <laughs> I really like, there's somebody in chat, the player says, I can keep a secret. <laughs> Kappa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's definitely the I can keep a secret phase. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, I, I'm so sorry for my surprise emote, by the way. Right. <laughs> if y'all seen that, because like it's literally the Twitch one, but I just put it on a Vaporeon face, and it's just it's everywhere. Oh my god, <laughs> I hate it, but I love it. That was Dell's fault. Ugh. smartphone, good now. Go yeah, buy. Yeah, <laughs> it's a it's a very it's a drawing of a very tired Stephen, I think. Yeah, that's Steven. yeah, that was Stephen. Okay, we were having a discussion before about about. <laughs> about uh cartoon facial features sorry that means it just kind of came up now <laughs> sorry smartphone is good now though smartphone yeah, is good now go yes i, I it's need a very to tired get a drug of steven saying smartphone good now go reese buy. has been telling me to get a new phone for like four years at this point at oh, least at that at that point yeah probably <laughs> yeah my phone's from I, 2015 I, I'm assuming, which apparently I'm means it's ancient i mean i'm assuming she w wait what if well, she wasn't telling you to get a new phone when the phone was new. That would be yeah. wild. I right, said I said four years. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, uh, John's had that phone for for seven years by the side of it. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. So, yeah, your phone is very old. Have you considered <laughs> a phone that is uh, more recent? Because, like, and this is here's the thing, John. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like, I I I totally. I totally get. I totally subscribe to the idea of like it ain't broke. I don't need one. But here's the, here's the thing that you may not have understood until this moment in time. <laughs> Smartphone good. 
Yeah, but I want the folding ones. I want the flip four, but like I like I don't know if it's recommended. That's the problem. Like I keep looking up like here's the cost of it. Here's like the reviews of it. I'm just like, man, I just want a phone. <laughs> like yeah. I gotta make phone calls and read my emails and shit. Come on, man. Like I I looked into the fold ones. Um, the only thing I kind of worry about that is that will it damage itself over time? You know, with the mm. fold. Like that is the one thing that freaks me out about the uh the fold phones is it's a bending glass screen so so 100 eh. percent yes it will damage itself over time but like it'd probably be like the same amount of damage that your battery takes from from using your phone like it, it would like the the like if you had that phone for like a decade then, it would, then <laughs> yeah like, yeah it, it would be two phones at that point because it's a decade old phone but no <laughs> no uh like that that is the one thing that kept me from getting it plus i'm kind of an iphone boy like mm -hmm. um ironically like i use i use windows pcs like like all the time but i just really really like the iphone like the way that it works i don't know why I've, i was actually thinking about getting a macbook pro for freaking uh video editing but macbook expensive <laughs> Buy for Jared. <laughs> no, God, no. I, I, I have to. Oh my God, I have to um, replace my uh, my streaming PC because yes, yesterday on Cast, uh, I opened up an extra. I'm not even joking. I opened up one extra freaking uh, window in order to uh, do something with my Twitch dashboard, and my freaking computer blue screen. <laughs> <laughs> good sign while, there while mm. i was freaking uh streaming so i'm just like okay yeah but i i have like a it's like a seven year old uh that was the laptop that i started streaming on so oh, wow. i've been streaming for seven years so it's it's about time to do that so yeah i'm, I'm actually going to get like a desktop set up so that i have more usb ports so i can actually utilize a uh steam ah stream deck frick i fricked it up again Oh my god! I can't. Okay, it's not, it does not help that they have two products out there in the world called a Steam Deck and a Stream Deck. So my brain legitimately cannot help it. I, I have I have literally said Stream Deck and Steam Deck like intertwined with each other because because uh, my buddy Dell was down here for a little while and he has a Stream. There we go. No God, he has a Steam Deck. Jesus, I literally can't do it. Like my brain <laughs> is just so freaked up on these words right now. So yeah, so he has a Steam. Yes, Steam Deck, uh, and I was calling it a Stream Deck like the entire time he was here, and <laughs> now it's just like ingrained in my brain. I'm just completely fricked. But I I want to utilize a Stream Deck for my streams now, and I'll be able to do that with a uh, with a desktop setup. Like I've been running a laptop setup for seven years, and I think it's time to finally freaking bite the bullet. I would love it if just like. You wouldn't like we're all computer savvy, so I don't think anybody here would do it. But just like somebody comes up on the stream, it's like, "Hey guys, uh, welcome to the stream. I'm gonna be doing maintenance on my streaming computer while I'm streaming." <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny about that is like, Erica was like, "Hey, you should absolutely stream the process of you getting everything set up because people like watching, uh, t like putting together stuff streams, right?" But then, and like, my stupid brain is just like. But I got a stream with it. Like, like how did I do that? <laughs> but then I, I, I just real, I realized after that, like, wait, I have a freaking stream set up already. I don't know why I need to, uh, like, have the desktop set up first. I'm just, man, I'm tired. I like, I'm glad that after this podcast, it's my weekend. I'm not doing a freaking thing for two days. I've been working my butt <laughs> off. Oh my god, I've gotten, I've gotten into the game of doing short form content, and it's exhausting. <laughs> is now like have you pulled back on anything else or is that in addition to everything else that you're doing already so so it's not it's not like okay so my problem is is like i don't want to be what i like to call always on um and this is specifically for tiktok tiktok really likes you to be always on it likes you to always be on the app that's the whole point so and what i mean by that is is like hey you have to upload the video from your phone like physically from your phone whenever you want to upload it. There's no way to schedule videos unless you do them on the desktop. Then who knows what it does with the algorithm, right? Um, so like I'm just sitting here like, you know what? Frick it. I'm scheduling videos on TikTok because I'm just I I can't I can't you have schedule my phone. videos on TikTok? Only on the desktop app. Well, only on the desktop. Wait, really? Uh, 
it, barely. Let me let me also tell you this. I was freaking like because whenever I do content, I do content in big chunks. Um, I do content for like I, like right now I have like a month of YouTube videos ready to go, and there I'm set until like the tenth, right? So. I, I ended up making a full on template for TikTok, which I really, really like it. That took me a while to figure out the, uh, the exact like dimensions and what I wanted to do, like having the title at the top, blah, 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 blah. But I try to go and upload the freaking videos on TikTok today. I get to the eighth and it's like, Hey, you can't upload anymore because you're uploading too much. And I'm like, what do you freaking mean? I am <laughs> uploading too much. So you can only upload like five to six videos at a time on TikTok per day, but schedule them, not at the same time. Like they're not going live at the same time, but they're scheduled. I'm scheduling these videos and they're like, nope, looks like you ain't freaking uploading no more. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot even like, like everything. So I, I enjoy TikTok in small doses, but everything about that platform as a content creator, I can't freaking stand. <laughs> so, so how are you, how are you scheduling them? Like that's, uh, that's what I don't get. So whenever you whenever you go to TikTok.com on your computer, um, you can upload videos straight from there. I don't know now. Now anybody take or hearing this on the podcast, um, I don't know if this will negatively affect your metrics because of the fact that I've not done it before. I've not I've not been able to find anything online about it either. It's very hard to find any type of freaking information about TikTok. Uh, but uh, for me, I'm just I guess I'm just silly. But uh, whenever you do it, there is an option to schedule that video and then it will show up on your phone um under a scheduled time so you can do it through your computer but then it uploads it to their servers and then you can see it on your phone um there's just <laughs> it's just something so funny it, is that in the is that in the upload page or something is is it is it easy to find because like i have been uploading to tiktok for a while and i have not seen the scheduled uh like the scheduling tool that you're so talking about. uh it's it disappears for people is what i've read um, but I can, <laughs> I can like, uh, I can show you later, um, where I found it. So, yeah, but I've also, I've also been, uh, reutilizing my content from YouTube for YouTube shorts as well, because they go to a different like aggregate type deal. Mm. And, uh, that, that was, that's fun. Cause I like YouTube. I, I love, I love making content for YouTube. Like legitimately, um, even it, like what's funny is I enjoyed making the vertical content on YouTube more than I did for TikTok. I don't know why. It's just, there's something about that platform that just drives me freaking crazy. And I don't know why. Uh, but I just, I, I really like the, the YouTube uh, way of doing things. Um, I'm not touching Instagram cause I don't know anything about it. And I'm, I've, I, I'm, I'm done with short term, <clears throat> short term, short form content for a little while. <laughs> the one thing that kills me about both TikTok and YouTube shorts, and I don't know if any other short form content platform is like this, mm -hmm. but on some iPhones, it overscans. So the, like, like the sides of the video are cut off and like, sometimes the captions go all the way to the sides and I can't read them. Yep. Uh, that. Is, well, I don't know about YouTube Shorts. Uh, they look better. YouTube Shorts look way, way better than TikTok videos, um, and it's because of the fact that they have to push so much data so fast uh, that TikTok just completely like it turns a 1080p video into like 160p. Um, but the the thing is, is like it automatically resizes for the phone that it's on or the device that it's on. So if like let's say you upload a uh, a video that looks really good on um a Android phone, uh your iPhone Pro Max will be blown out. Your uh, uh your your iPad will actually have it perfectly fine. So just upload it whatever way, and it doesn't really matter. Like because what I actually used to do as well. God, I'm getting into. Uh, <laughs> a bunch of tips and tricks streamer tips um so like what i used to do was i used to like crop the video down even further so it would fit perfectly on an iphone but it fits terribly on everything else at that point there's just black across the screen so like yeah it's just basically what i'm trying to say is <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't get into short form content <laughs> i mean I, uh, uh so i've got i've got the stream up while while we got this going on and i'm like why, when you were talking about that, did John pull up the picture of front of a house and the door opened and it was like, oh, it's a Twitch ad. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, this month I was testing because they want people to mess with the auto ad system. So I was trying it out and it, hey. turns, and it turns out 
uh, I don't understand how it works because you only, there's limits to it. Like you can only snooze three times and they are five minute limits and you only get your snoozes back after an hour and a bunch of other weird rules I'm trying to understand. So unfortunately, the only way to not have auto ads run during the podcast, which is the one I didn't want them to run on, is to opt out of the entire month and lose out on all the extra money. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, John, I did the same thing this month. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of people have opted into the ads thing this month. Like, it, yeah. it, they, they made a really decent offer. I was very surprised. My um, offer was worse than it was the previous month. So I was like, uh, is this worth it? So I'm, I'm trying. Because they... <laughs> Because that should have been higher because of just how November CPM usually works. Welcome, yeah, back, I, from, welcome back from the ads, by the way, people who got ads. Sorry, yeah, guys. Sorry about that. Um, but no, like, so if, if you have questions about that uh, thing, I actually, I did like a deep dive into how it works um, because of the fact that like, yeah, I'm using mine too. And it's interesting. It's very interesting. And uh, like, I can, I can run you through it if you need me to. It's like, it's, it's. It's annoying, but it works really well if you take like small hourly breaks, you know, like it yeah, works which, very well for that, which is my normal content. So this is yeah. the thing that pissed me off and made me actually uh, use the ad manager this month. Mm -hmm. I already show like X amount of ads every break I take. Yeah. And Twitch said, yeah, uh, we're not offering you the extra revenue. You have because yeah, you have manager. to do. You have to do the ads incentive program and, and use the auto manager. That's how they track it. You Which know? is like, or that's dumb, a, yeah. though. That's it really dumb. Is. It has to be on our terms. If you don't like it, me. Bro, I'm I, Twitch. Me. <laughs> Listen, if I could, uh, if I could just run an ad whenever I wanted to and make sure that I run a certain amount per day, I, I feel like, and and once again, I say this uh, knowing that. I use Twitch as a platform because that's what it is. It's a tool, right? It, it's not like it's not like a person. I'm not gonna feel bad for saying something iffy about it, but I use it as a platform and I'm very thankful for the platform. But I will say um, that I wish that they would kind of just trust the people to do it who have shown that they would do it. Yeah. If that makes sense. You we, know? Basically, we basically get burned. Those of us actually take breaks and run them on an hour or like an hour and a half yeah. basis get burned because so many other people don't do them at all. And this yeah. is the dumb thing. Like we can't disable pre-rolls unless we run ads, mm -hmm. which pre-rolls are shown to also scare off people. So it's just like this stupid curse of like, it doesn't matter what you do at this point. You're damned if you do damned if you don't. So really like, and that, that right there was actually the reason why I started, uh, well, other than the, uh, the pretty decent offer, um, they like, they said like, Hey, uh, I, and I've been doing a lot of research into like algorithmic stuff and like all that stuff. Pre-roll ads destroy new viewership, uh, like activation or like, um, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Um, like whenever like some viewer attention, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Viewer, attention. Uh, viewer attention and audience growth. So yes. the, the question, the question that then becomes like, like if it destroys viewership, why even have the pre pre roll ads at all? So so I I want y'all to know something crazy. Um, my like I started running ads two days ago. I don't know that you know correlation doesn't really equal causation or anything, but like because of the fact that I don't have my pre rolls, my viewership has uh, grown one hundred like by one hundred on average in these last two days. Like my viewership is uh, 100 more than it normally is because I'm able to actually say hello to the new people that are uh, popping in. And that right there, getting rid of the pre-roll ads is worth running two minutes of ads per hour for me, 100%. Um, and if anybody from Twitch is watching, uh, please give us the ability to manually take care of this because yeah. we will do it. We want to do it. Let us have control over it for God's sake. Yeah, because like, like cause the in, in the long run, because nobody absolutely nobody wants to be in the middle of something and then just be have it be like oh now we're coming to the 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 climax of this game order papa john's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically yeah like like and that's that's the main thing and i i will give credit where credit is due um they have gotten better like they they are getting better with the ad system and they're working on it and i'm actually relatively impressed but they still have a long way to go um, yeah. and if, if any streamers are in here, like, uh, who, you know, who stream regularly, 
trust us whenever we say that we know your freaking pain and like we have to deal with this crap too and like i love i absolutely love twitch as a platform um and there are things that they need like there are some growing pains going on right now and uh i i just i do have faith that everything is going to get better with time um me being the optimist that i am and like just you know i, I don't want to be like oh just give it time they'll do it no i i, I like the people who who run the platform like uh, like the staff they do they do a darn good job um it's the weird like upper decisions that i can't stand at times you know that's why i respect all the twitch staff that come in my channel <laughs> unless they're acting a fool <laughs> but <laughs> like uh like we always we always whenever a twitch staff comes in my chat i'm like y'all give them love because they freaking keep this crazy ship afloat yeah I, I appreciate it. I appreciate all the work that they uh, put into it. Yeah, hopefully everything does actually work out because, like, I don't know, like, being literally being shown, like, hey, you're already doing this, but if you do this instead, we're going to give you, for the exact same amount of work you're doing, like, three or four times more money. It's just, like, this is just an insult at this point. It sucks. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, am, I am glad that they are giving incentives, though. You know, like a guaranteed there like there are a couple of streamers that I know that because of the ads incentive program, they're able to actually make this a full time gig. And that's super cool. But that there is are cool. yeah, there are definitely problems with the system. I'm not trying to sugarcoat that. But I am I am actually kind of impressed with the fact that they are giving flat rates for ad showing. Like that right there is is impressive to me. Because that doesn't happen on YouTube. That doesn't happen on TikTok. It doesn't happen anywhere. Um, but, you know, I will, I will give that uh, a thing. <laughs> a fast shake. That's a really good image. <laughs> uh, what is it? Oh. Uh, it's gone. One order of Steve. It's, a, it's an image of Steven ordering steamed rice at, a, at Panda Express. No, or that's... Something? That's, I'll that's, have one order of steamed rice, huh? And then it zooms in on. Oh no, never mind. That's Jared. Sorry. Yeah, that's me. So I'm pretty sure what that means is, uh, like I'm I'm like last, and somebody's getting my order, or somebody's like taking care of paying for it. <laughs> I think that's what it's referencing. Yeah. So Jared's saying I'll have one order of steamed rice, and the, the waitress saying huh, and it's a zoom in on Jared's face, just as crap. At least I think that's what it means. I, I that one right there, I don't know, but I just found it funny because like. Any, oh no no no! You said it, it, we misread it. You said streamed rice in that. Oh, streamed rice. Oh, frick yeah! Oh, okay. Now it's even funnier. All right, awesome. Uh, I hate this that. Pranking my friends with. Oh food. God. Are you okay? Steven's back. Hey. Did he fall, did he fall asleep? Hey. <laughs> did you fall asleep? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro! I thought you were hey. just being quiet. <laughs> hey, oh God, oh, oh! I'm hey, living up that grandpa name, baby. Hey, <laughs> oh, Steven, smartphone good? You good? Smartphone? Yeah, good? it's on the floor. Uh, it's not <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Whoa, Woo. Steven. <laughs> Steven, hey, I love you, man. <laughs> Steven, are are you are you conscious enough to describe what just happened? Um, so I woke up, <laughs> <laughs> and I woke up because I slipped out of my chair in a bad way. I'm good. I'm are good. Are you sure hey, about that? I'm so good. So bro, how are y'all doing? Bro, hey. our, our talks about Twitch and what ads time is it? <laughs> it it's 10, we we it's talked about ads for like twenty minutes, ten minutes. It, it's ten Whoa. fifteen where you are, Stephen. Oh my god! Oh, I am. Hold on, I gotta take off my socks. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! There's moisture everywhere. Oh my god. Okay. So, uh, what? so we good or we? <laughs> <laughs> I like dance. Well, sorry. Producer note of Christ you're, alive. You're in your comfort zone. You're still in the chair. We're all good. Okay. Holy frick. Hey, that's a um, first. Sorry. I. <laughs> so, all right. Can I, did I, okay. I cannot remember anything, but do, did do I... you remember, do you remember starting the con the podcast? Y yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's the I have. Was we did we were we live 
when I when I was telling you about the jet lag, or was that before? That was before jet lag. Was that? Yeah, because he said he, uh, I think it was before the podcast when he said he felt like uh, he had he had jet lag. Oh, from, yeah, that was before uh, the podcast. Being, we we yeah. talked about how oh, like, okay. tired we were from the whole thing. But the actual jet lag yeah, conversation okay. was before. <laughs> okay, I couldn't remember. So yeah, I'm having, I'm having, I'm having jet lag. I, the only way I, I can asked, describe it. I specifically asked, are we rescheduling the podcast because you guys John, did extra life? I, I gave so you an out. I John, literally gave you an John. out. I thought ahead. <laughs> John, I was, I, man, you can't, I had, I had it in my heart though. You know, you got, I was like, put me in coach. <laughs> Both you and Dan were like, we're he's, fine. He's got John, to. John, you have to have the soul and heart of a warrior and I have it. <laughs> I have it. You got to put me in. Listen, here, I, let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you, you what heart, happened. Kid, Here's you what heart. happened. What's the last thing what? you remember us talking about? Uh oh God! So I don't, but I know that we started the podcast. Oh my God! I remember I talked about the snail. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you do you remember talking about how good how good the iPhone's camera is? Steven, give me a number from one to two hundred. Two hundred. Okay. <laughs> you didn't answer my question, Steven. <laughs> There you go. Oh, we started the podcast God, all over for Steven. One. There we go. He's, he's at the beginning. Don't worry. We're getting him caught up. Welcome. Welcome to the Disco Only Podcast. Well, yeah. Welcome to the Disco Only Podcast, the, the Steven recap. Uh, I'm Tom. We're going out of order here because Steven isn't technically a part of this. Oh, uh, we should not restart the podcast because I am definitely going to be like, oh, I'm, I'm asleep. I'm a dream. <laughs> Guys, dream trigger. Uh, yeah, so... Um, Mm. Okay. Remember, remember how, remember how two ca uh, podcasts ago we were talking about lucid dreaming. You, you just lived it, like I instantly. Did. <laughs> I did. So, okay. So what happened? Here's here's what happened. I was talking. To the, I was talking about this before the show started. We did. We did extra life, and that the show, the extra life, it wasn't any longer than it's ever been. It was. You know, I stayed up the same amount of time, but I have been having what I can only describe as um, jet lag because you know if you if you travel. Uh, around the, the world, sometimes when you come back, you just you you experience very sudden visceral exhaustion, like suddenly, like you're you're chilling, and all of a sudden it's like boom, jet lag, bam, and then you're just asleep. And um, I have had that in the past few days. Also, last night I took melatonin, which oh. which might not be helping, but also I haven't been sleeping a good. So that's why I did the melatonin. You, a side effect of melatonin is that it can kind of like last after the fact. So you, so you might still be feeling the effects of it. Yeah. yeah. Combined with the fact that just randomly my body would be like, you sleep now. And I'm like, what? And then I'm just asleep. <laughs> but I'm um, podcasting. No, you sleep now. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't remember <laughs> when oh. exactly. I went. Listen, everything's fine. So we were what were we talking about? Halloween? You're finishing up on Halloween? Oh John was an aquabat. God. What was your fa here's a good question. What was your favorite Halloween you ever did? Uh don't answer all at once. Jared, right. you first. What well, was your no, I had favorite? to I had to think about it. Um I think you have a good Halloween memory? Like when you did you egg a house or did you get egg? <laughs> That's not, did I or, get or egg? Or did you get egg? <laughs> my, favorite, my favorite Halloween was the one where I got egged. Yeah, or I like you went up to up. a house and instead of Twix bars, they gave you an egg. I don't know. So, so uh, I think uh, my favorite, uh. my favorite Halloween was um, um, we did a Halloween party at the youth, uh, like the youth room where actually where I used to stream at, uh, and it's like it's like a too big old area like. Um, it's a storefront now for cupcakes. So that's the type of space that we were looking at. Right. So it's like two big rooms that would be considered a storefront. And, uh, for Halloween, we were able to dress up, but we also had a nerf war fight. So like, it was like two teams and inside the gigantic building, we just all had nerf guns. We were going around like, you know, uh, just doing like capture the flag and, uh, all type like search and destroy from, Modern Warfare 2, yeah. but yeah, it's just freaking that. That is probably my favorite. I was dressed up as Luigi. <laughs> it was fun. I like that. Tom, yeah. <laughs> tell me your favorite Halloween memory. 
Uh, my dad would make these like wild costumes, and one year, uh, he was like, "I'm gonna test my chops here. Let's make a headless man costume." So, the illusion looked very real. It's just a shame that like when when you make the uh, the torso that big to make it look like someone's decapitated, it looks like you just got really tiny legs. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, but, but the illusion was, was, was pretty real, uh, for a lot of, uh, a lot of small children's path I came across, um, because they, they, they'd all start, like, a, a good amount of them would start crying when they'd see me walking by. Uh, so yeah, that was a good one. John, you got a good Halloween memory? Yeah, uh, one of the first times I got in the cosplay, uh, we there was a big Halloween dance that a bunch of us all went to. So I actually met a bunch of friends that I know still to this day at that party just because of, of the costume I was wearing at the time. That was my uh, my old Dante cosplay. Dude, okay, so I think I think that that video that was circulating the internet of that mm -hmm. uh, that was the first time that I had ever seen your face was that video. Nah, a couple people have told me that. Yeah, isn't that isn't that crazy? Life is weird. Life is weird. I think I made the exact same face that I made in this GIF. On that, in that exact video, too. I think I made that exact same face. John, uh... how long have you been making that face? I, I think my face might just be stuck like this, actually. I'm Since doing, it, I'm doing Mal, it right now. Uh, Ma Mal has chimed in, by the way, in the chat, saying, Brandon and I are chilling downstairs, and we have the stream on. Suddenly, loud noise from upstairs, and Steven is like, hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I I have turned into Fat Albert when I uh, <laughs> fall asleep. In my wait, 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 I, I, upon first waking up every morning, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Fat Albert. Oh my God. A e e every morning with you, you know, you're you're asleep in bed, and like, Ke and you know, Kepler puts his paw in your face to wake you up for a scoop, and y your eyes snap open. You go, hey, 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 Kepler, stop. God, you know what you know what Kepler did today for the first time in his entire cat life? What did he do? I was I was asleep and the boy like I've been I I mean I've illustrated this prior. I have been tired and I have not been very, you know, responsive to the cat when the cat's like, Listen, man, it's time, I gotta eat. And he took things just a little bit further this morning than he has before. And he walked up to my pillow where my head was laying, and he chomped down on my hair. <laughs> <laughs> like he just took like a big old butt and like just like grabbed my hair in his teeth, and it was so alarming because he has never done that. No, and did I was he just like what? He didn't did bite he... my head. Did he... he just <laughs> grabbed my hair and just like put it in his teeth and like like to give me a tug. And I was like, so he did what? pull. Like he chomped down your hair and pulled. He pulled my hair, but with his mouth, because it would have been very hard for him to have done it with his paw. Yeah, it was it was wild, and I did get up. <laughs> I was like, okay, I can't win. And then, what time was that? It was, it was five. God, it was five something o'clock. So I got up and um, fed him, and then I slept on the couch because I was already there. Well, that <laughs> that reminds me of Blue. Um, something new that that little boy has been doing recently is freaking uh, walking up to me. Like it'll be it'll be a little bit later on, so like you know, ten or eleven or something. If I'm sleeping in, because uh, my entire life is nocturnal. Um, and he will he will bounce up like up onto the bed and then slowly, and gently like. You know, come up to come up to where my chest is, and then he will try to put his freaking paw into my mouth in yeah. order to wake me up. And I don't know why he does that. But um, on the flip side of that, uh, he's really funny because he, all he wants is to be like like gra like squeezed, right? Like he wants to be secure. So don't what I usually <laughs> what I usually do is like I will just I would just because he wakes me up and I'm he's like you know do, do, do. I'm like stop freaking don't put your, your your claws are sharp they get my freaking lip <laughs> um but what I'll do is I'll just grab him and then like uh you know squeeze him close to me and then he will just fall asleep purring and it's the sweetest thing um but then he gets up and then he's just like meow meow 
Me, because he he wants like either me or Erica to like turn on a faucet for him because that's what he does. He he takes a shower in the morning, and I'm not even joking about this. He freaking runs his head under the faucet, and does he got a little bar of soap and a loofah? God, I wish. Um, but then he he also wants his main window open as well because we have like a screened in window, so he watches the squirrels throughout the day. And we figured out that that actually keeps him asleep because he's always wired whenever that window's open. So we do that crap. Uh, we keep that window open all day because we <laughs> enjoy sleep. Does, so does, uh, no matter the season. Yeah, no matter. Wow. Well, we'll keep it. We'll keep it like kind of closed uh, during like really cold winter or whatever. But I mean, it doesn't get too cold down here. I'm in South Carolina or whatever. Right, right. But yeah, or like, it, well, what about really hot summer when it's like you just where basically you're just air conditioning the outside if you leave anything open. I mean, it's worth me being able to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Manatee will just walk up to me and like and whine, and it's like <laughs> it's that it's that kind of it's that kind of like 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 complaining kind of whine too because like huh, huh. <laughs> ladybug does that for Erica to let let her outside. Hey Steven, you still awake? I'm here. I'm okay. Here. Cool. Just check. <laughs> there was <laughs> I got I there was a brief moment though where like. <laughs> I did see into the middle distance where I was like, <laughs> like I heard what you were saying, but it was definitely in a tunnel, but I did not, I, I escaped the tunnel. So I'm still here. I'm good. All right. All right yeah, I'm just going to not... start arming my air horn on my phone. So if we need it, every <laughs> couple of minutes, you're just going to be like, Steven, are you awake? Steven, Steven, you awake? I'm good. Steven. I'm so good. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. I only said something because chat was saying check on Steven. And I no, I'm good. Funny. I'm so... I'm so <laughs> God, I am... So, I'm so good. I wish I had a... I, 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 I kind of wish I had a low-pass filter on this thing. Or maybe high-pass. Whichever whichever one makes it, everything sound bassy. But like, I wish I had one of those just so I could make it see... Like, give the illusion of what Steven's going through. Whoa. When he's, like, sl slipping into sleep. Just keep making your voice Whoa. go lower Whoa. and lower. Whoa. Well, no, I mean, like, it's not, it's not like that. It doesn't, it doesn't make it go deep. It just gets rid of, like, the higher tones. So, like, so everything sounds, like, muffled. Oh. Like, burn. Yeah. Well, like, <laughs> I, I mean, like, it's, it's like, um, if, like, someone's playing, like, a, like, music from their car and, like, you can only hear the bass, that's kind of, like, what it's like. Oh, so it's, like, a really bad YouTube upload. Yes. Okay. Dude, oh, my God. I get those sometimes whenever I'm drumming, and it fake. sounds like people recorded it from like three rooms over while a blender was running it's it's ridiculous we are we are in the world of 1080p we should be able to get pretty decent <laughs> audio recordings too maybe distortions i don't think that would be uh i'm still trying to find this high pass these high pass and low pass filters but i don't think they're on this thing oh, oh, oh hold on i had a question wait yes hold on <laughs> okay, I'm realizing. Okay. I'm re sorry. I've been formulating this question for such a long time, and now I'm realizing that, that you that you fell asleep formulating it. Is that what happened? No, no. I just it required a lot of brain power. There's a lot I could do on here. Like I could ask you to put me back in the water. <laughs> so my question oh my was: Do you do you like to take the shower when when you wake up or when you go to bed? Wake when up. I wake up. Whoa, did two of you say that at yes, once? Or yes, yes. <laughs> hearing double. It's very scary. Here, this will help you tell that I'm over. talking. This is my I'm talking sound, so that should help. <laughs> oh, God. Bro <laughs> yeah. This is the John talking alarm. <laughs> Every time you hear this noise, John is talking. <laughs> uh, I'm actually a, uh, I'm, a, I'm a knight. Um... I'm a night shower because I, 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 I like going to bed feeling clean. I mean, I I am historically a night shower man, but in the past, in the past, well, it's it's historically because there is a lot of hi history. Like if I was to write a history book a and it was only about me, the section about showering. <laughs> Why is there a section about showering in your history book? Because there's not that much interesting stuff, John. I didn't start any wars, so I got to write a shorter about book. You don't have that the shower segment. <laughs> what? 
I this would is put in there, you know, did not go to war with France, but typically showered in the evening. For the same person who had to take his socks off because it was too hot. <laughs> oh, and they are still off. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way. I, uh, yeah, I, I do it. I used to do it in the, at night, but, um, oh my God, this is like full circle. I'm recalling like in college when I would go, I would, I would take a shower at night and I'd fall asleep in the shower in the one time. I fell like I fell asleep every single shower, but then one time I fell asleep and I fell like out of the shower. I think I've talked about it on Disco Only before. Wait, you you fallen asleep in the shower? No, I fell asleep every time, every night in college. I fell asleep in the shower. Huh? Like every night, every cool. single every single day that ended in Y, in my junior and senior year of college, I fell asleep in the shower. Okay, so have, I'm just, has any I'm, bodily harm come to you from doing that? Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Not as much as you would think, because I definitely probably deserved more from just falling, because it's so dangerous. Oh, yeah. You can't just fall asleep in the shower. You'll die. And I did like, Well, I mean, like, the thing about falling asleep in the shower is that, like, there's three directions in which you could fall, and you'll pretty much be fine. The fourth yeah. direction is a little bit shaky, considering all it would be holding you up is either a curtain or a door. Considering this is in college, well, I'm going to say I don't curtains. know. Falling forward onto the faucet or the walls, yep, I feel like true. might do some yep. damage. The wall, there's, so, so, there's so the wall, metal. The wall, I wouldn't say is bad, but also if you're falling, like if you're falling asleep, like in the shower, chances are you're already leaning against one of those walls. No, I fall asleep standing no. up, and also in the shower. Yeah, it's, it, it's always. God, I'm up. so vindicated. I'm not the only person who's ever done that. Awesome. Okay. The cool. The thing is. This was only a college thing because as soon as I, uh, what is, not escape, what is it called? Graduated. Escape. Graduated. <laughs> Jesus Christ. After, as soon as I, as soon as I graduated. I college. I don't want <laughs> exactly to enough. keep me, the bastards. As soon as I escape, graduated college, then it never happened ever again. But you know. while I was while I was there, they I fell <laughs> a lot all the time. Dude. Dan has freaking... said that Steven has also fallen asleep while pooping. I remember that. Uh, I remember the, one of the vlogs from that. That was when you were on the back going back from Japan. Yeah, I think that was the last time that I had jet lag, and it was bad. I I've, never was... Fell this, that, I've never fallen asleep. That sounds way more pooping. like a low blood pressure pass out than anything else. You would hmm. think that, but no, I was, I was just tired. I think the other <laughs> the other thing as well that that I think of with that vlog as uh as well as when you're trying to remember when the last thing you filmed was and you it was JFK airport and you were like okay so if the last thing I shot was JFK yeah that was that was the biggest ad admission of guilt that I've ever had <laughs> <laughs> and somehow they let you out it's wild they did yeah they, they let did. you escape college <laughs> <laughs> thankfully God yeah college uh, was a really tired time. Like I, I'm sure that a lot of people can relate to that because like I I used to um I used to fall asleep like I thought I had narcolepsy honestly whenever I was in college but now I just realized that holy frick I was working and going to school and trying to have like a social life and run a business or whatever at the same time it's just like Jesus I'm glad that I've kind of slowed down a little bit like <laughs> as I've grown well, up well it's it's all about it's all about age, right? Like yeah. when you when you if you go to college like in your late teens, like your early 20s, like you ha you can do it. Yeah. And then you get older and you're like, how did I do that? Let me, <laughs> let, me let me I'm ask so you guys, guys something. How do you regularly fall asleep? In the best of conditions I set for myself to try to sleep, I can't fall asleep. It takes me hours upon hours. The uh, sun I, will be up before I fall asleep. The, the only thing that has helped me is meditation. Like I meditate like twenty or ten, twenty minutes before I go to bed, and that's how I fall asleep. You, 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 you fuckers are falling asleep in the shower, standing up. How the hell do you do that? <laughs> that was Listen. that was that was college, Steven. Yeah, that was college. I, like I haven't, I have not fallen asleep in the shower since like I was in my old apartment like a long time ago. Um, now I use my phone in the shower, and it keeps me awake. <laughs> that's why he does it. It all makes sense now. Yes. <laughs> I mean, so I have zero problems falling asleep initially. Never have a problem falling asleep initially. I get in bed. I'm asleep within five or ten minutes. My Very problem, like my problem in the past few months is that I am waking up in the night, and when I wake up in the night, it's over. I, it's like, oh, <laughs> how many sleeps did well, I get? Four hours? Well, I'm going to get up and work because there's no point <laughs> trying to go back to sleep. I think I've solved the problem of how uh, of how you could have fallen asleep in the shower because I got two very different messages. One come from chat, one come from Dan. 
One in the chat is from Tanner the Gamer that says, uh, <laughs> it takes five to eight minutes to take a shower. And Dan says, the average person takes seven minutes to fall asleep. So if you're on the upper end of that eight minute shower, you're probably falling asleep. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I was like, oh, oh it only yeah. takes people like five to eight? Oh, damn. Well, <laughs> all right. Who the frick falls asleep in that time? I am not average. It takes me like two hours if I am not freaking, if I don't uh, do, do yoga or meditate before bed. Like legitimately. Now, on I on average, it. I'm asleep in like three minutes. Bro, average. you you and Erica make me upset. I, right? I, I I have a technique though that usually knocks me out if I'm like feeling like restless. So tell me, please. All right, uh, you get lost in your own head. <laughs> you you literally That's just fair. like lie down and like you start. I what I do is like I'll start writing a story in my head and just like literally like flesh out the story with my eyes closed and like it, with my with my senses off. Like I visualize it more. And that kind of oh. eventually forces my body to kind of shut down. Apparently, this is like a known like ADHD trick to use. But like you just start like writing a story out like, OK, where was I in this scene? All right. This scene, this character had been kidnapped and they're breaking out. So now they have to go find a weapon. All right. And this person like is over in this location. Like literally, I'm writing out a script in my head and doing this. My body's like, all right, well, we've exerted a lot of creative energy. So let's just fall asleep. And then I'll wake up like eight hours later. <laughs> Bro, that's so freaking just... smart. I'm trying to uh, to <laughs> think about that in the sense of like <laughs> establishing shot forest daytime. There sits a friendly <laughs> squirrel at. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, dude, I don't. I do not understand. Like, like Erica will lay down, and I'll be like, "Hey, do you want me to turn the light off?" <laughs> She's just gone, dude. So something that I have, uh, well, uh, that I've started recently very recently is i don't have my phone in the bedroom anymore because i am a bad bad boy freaking phone user in the bed and that crap keeps me up and also probably doesn't help my mental state uh being on twitter but like i i now have my phone like out in the uh in the den and let me tell you it actually really helps because yeah because <laughs> i i am able to wind down in my body like really figures out like hey this is where you go to bed so yeah very good i i now just ask me if i'm a maladaptive daydreamer uh, i will space out but i wouldn't say it's that that depends i would definitely like daydream a lot in school dude i used to fall asleep in school like i I think I've told this on the podcast before. I got an award for sleep learning from my history teacher <laughs> like oh. legit he actually gave it to me at the, uh, the, you know how they have like the ending award ceremonies, like at the end of a high school year or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, yeah. Hesse it, was a boss. I love him. Well, it's, it's usually, it's also usually like joke awards. Like, oh, what are you yeah. known for in the classroom? Yeah. Well, I, I got, I, I, I aced his class, but I slept through every single one of his lectures. <laughs> <laughs> I, the thing is, is that I, I love that teacher and he's so funny, but like, I was, I was like working a lot as well as doing like school stuff in high school. So I was freaking, I was just freaking tired, bro. And like, he knew that it wasn't like a disrespectful thing. So he just let me sleep and they would usually play tricks on me in class. And I, and, and it was always funny. So like, it didn't bother me. I'm just like, yeah, y'all let me sleep. Y'all can freak with me all you want. I don't care. <laughs> I remember there was an exam I was doing in university. I fell asleep during it, but I fell asleep when I was trying to figure out the answer to a question. I couldn't think of it. Apparently, I fell asleep for four minutes, woke up, and was like, oh, that was the answer, and then wrote it down and got through the exam. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes wow. it's all you need. Sometimes a good night's sleep, a good four minutes of sleep is what you need to recharge your juices. <laughs> I, like, I like this comment. Jared has achieved ultra instinct. <laughs> <laughs> also, apparently, my, my snoring woke up Kepler. N nice. Nice. Oh, man. This, has been, this, is, this is one of those really good episodes. <laughs> Steven check, Steven check, Steven check. I'm here. I'm here. I'm he listen. Listen. I'm here. For those wondering, Dan said, is Steven awake? So that's what led to that. Yes. I'm 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 here. I'm definitely here. I'm right here. I'm right here. It's you gonna are. be I'm right here. <laughs> there's a there's a there's a comedian that I listen to called uh Randy Feltface and he has like this one bit where he talks about moving a uh uh like this giant piece of furniture with somebody who's like who like he's, th this guy's going through like a really rough time and he, like and uh he like drops the the piece of furniture he's carrying to like to to like essentially like cry but I'm just imagining like Stephen falls asleep in the middle of dropping that uh, in the middle of carrying that furniture. 
I mean, so here's the thing. Like, this does not happen to me. This is not, like, a normal thing. <laughs> I know, is... but that's why it's so funny. <laughs> I swear this never happens. Um, you know, this is just one of those situations where uh, apparently I am old and I pushed my body far and my body is pissed. It's <laughs> almost like you should have taken the out I gave you. Mm, but here's the thing. Yeah, anything I, with an engine was a good game to end on. Here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Would would it have been better next week? Who's to say? I well, no, I Probably. I wouldn't stream next week. Next week's my birthday, so there'd be no podcast on next Tuesday. Okay, well the week. Well then, yeah, but then I'm gonna be in like uh, Minneapolis or whatever. So like, this was it. We needed to do it today. <laughs> God bless me for <laughs> being part of the part of the team and here ready. <laughs> I'm a and, team player, John. <laughs> well, ready and willing and re- excited to, to take off my socks. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you gave anyone. you you gave us one of the best moments in disc only history. Oh, yeah. Just now. yeah, definitely, hundred percent. That was fantastic. Steven Steven fell asleep at the end of Disc Only on October 30th and then woke up during the podcast to Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You and wondered how much time had passed. That would be see, very See, very his scary. falling asleep in the podcast has gone better than any time I've fallen asleep during the podcast. So, Wait, have you? No. All right, so the talking Fine. points for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Frustrating John's the smart. producer. Just... <laughs> Do you want just keep... John... John just keeps like a pillow next to the desk, so there's no loud bang. <laughs> he was planning for it. He had a plan. I am. I, I'm. I'm honestly kind of wondering how many times John has caught himself almost falling out of his chair when asleep, because we have never heard him like sleeping at all during these podcasts. I noticed he's been quiet in some of them, but I never noticed him like sleeping. Nah, I'll just go into a trance. I'll just, I'll just uh, start working on a story and then try to fall asleep. But then someone has to say something funny, and then I stay awake. So <laughs> <laughs> the podcast excuse to give John a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you guys take the reins on my stream for the next hour and a half. Yeah, chat, chat brings up a good point. I've, I've almost fallen asleep during TRG recording sessions. If I can fall asleep in a room with Chuck Conroy, I think I can fall asleep anywhere I want. True, true. That's true. I mean that's a useful skill. Is I it? wish that I had it. Sleep anywhere. All right. Bro, sleep is good. I think I think we should let Steven get some sleep. Talking points for this episode of Disc <laughs> Only. Frustrating the producer. Burping the snail. John the Aquabat. Completely dovine. <laughs> Pokemon coloring. Don't prank me. Buy my things or buy me things. <laughs> Smartphone good. Steaming over stream deck. Shut up, Dan. Clock app. Ads. The grandpa awakens. Eating hair. Shower chapter. Once upon a time. I can't do a snoring noise. It's easy. Yeah, so I'm I'm looking at the talking points and I'm like, all right, so like, I remember smartphone good and then that's it. (laughs) Yep. (laughs) <laughs> it's a, you know it's amazing we now have data for this we now know when exactly steven conked out oh you so yeah you missed the the yeah clock app ads and steaming over stream deck before uh before you fell out he, of your he chair. definitely was asleep during the ad rant and we were on that for a while so we were yeah <laughs> yeah who doesn't go on ad rants though like legit speaking of we have 19 minutes and 48 seconds until the next ad because i cannot turn on any more snoozes oh wait i have 18 seconds to my next snooze Oh, oh. oh all right God, i i i hope i only have 18 seconds till my next <laughs> 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 then steven just tell us tell us what you got going on then you can get your snooze on he's oh, going Christ. to bed i what ha, where am i i did <laughs> extra life i did it i did extra life we did it John, by the way, and Jarrett, thank you. You did the raids. John, <laughs> we played Jimmy Johnson's yep. game. It was not good. Which, which is wild because we played it before we raided you, and we had a great time. It was hilarious. It, it runs at 10 FPS that with only, four players. In four players, yeah. No, in single player, it ran great for a Wii game. I was I surprised. What's 
happening in my life. I will play games. I do games. When do I do them? Fridays? Friday? <laughs> you stream, you st Steven streams on Fridays. Yeah. He Mr. Game Boy has your entire schedule in the Alex. chat right now. Breakfast stream Thursday. Quarry possibly or something else on Friday. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay, got it. Game Boy's got you covered. Good. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Game Boy. <laughs> you want to tag out like a uh, like like Dark Cup Country? <laughs> Someone else just, advertised just my re stuff. Re re Game Boy, you can be on the podcast you. next week. Reach month your hands behind you. Someone <laughs> There you go. Dan's tagging in. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Who goes after me? It's Tom, right? That's Tom. Wow, no, he wait, really I is go tired. After Tom. He really is tired. Oh, we're oh, all God. fricked now. Well, like, we, it's we, all we, we hit a pun you first. You again. We hit a pun <laughs> you first, Steven, so that way you, you don't have to be active for the rest of the podcast. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to wake up to stop your recording, though, when we're, when we're done with the podcast, because we're not awake. done yet. We'll I'm all climb. not going to fall asleep. My socks are off. I thought I'd be that clear. <laughs> let's, all right, so let's just Steven has Steven, let, remember on. guys Steven has two modes barefoot awake sock mode sleep <laughs> <laughs> very awake socks are off <laughs> Whew. no sock no sleep good lord uh I've been playing Star Wars Night Seal Republic 2 and Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope on uh my YouTubes for the Let's Plays um, and that's been a lot of fun, especially Night Seal Republic. Um, go go watch that one because I've been enjoying that game immensely, and I hope you guys enjoy watching me play it because it's really good. Um, and then I'm also streaming regularly on uh, on Twitch, uh, Xenoblade Three and uh, Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher, which is God. It's everything I want in a Monster Rancher game. I just know nothing about kaiju. It's so or, good. Or Ultraman for that. Yeah, it's oh my god, it's so good. John, you played that you played that fairly recently, didn't you? Yeah, we we had Kaiju Kirby. That was our monster. Right. I forgot what the name of the monster is called that isn't Kaiju Kirby. Nova. Nova, the actual monster. Nova, you had Nova. I started with Dada. Yeah, we ended up fighting your monster like first and got whipped because Kirby had like no health. Was it uh was it Maze Dada? Yeah, it was Maze Dada. It, it had like a teleport gun move, and then that just yeah! did like like sixty percent of our damage. So I was just like, oh well, oh that God. was over. We have a so I have one of the abilities my character has in that is uh, if he if he would die, he survives with one HP. And in Monster Rage Two, it's called Grit. And everything I do in that game has been with his with his with his firearm, his weapon. So we've got the uh, so we have we've we've trademarked the phrase Grit and Gun. Uh, for for our dear Dada, uh, uh, hard daddy. Nice, nice. Jared. Oh, uh, yes, it's my turn. Um, uh, streaming Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and uh, this Sunday we're doing a YouTube stream. We do. Uh, we're now doing a monthly YouTube stream every first Sunday of the month. So, uh, any of y'all watching on YouTube, I hope y'all can join us there. Um, and then uh, been working on. The uh, short form content, as I said, don't wor don't don't worry about it because it's just the stuff that you've seen on my stream and <laughs> on YouTube and everything. But I just cut it down for a new audience trying to pull new people in, so don't worry about any of that. Um, but yeah, other than that, just having a good time. That's it. Dan, what you got going on? Um, well, um, lately I haven't really been streaming that much because uh, things in life have been happening. I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, um, but Twitch TV slash Motion Dan, um, but yeah, just uh, look forward to things. Bright mm -hmm. things. <laughs> look forward to good things, chat, to come from Dan. A Dian. Dian. Yeah, that's a threat. <laughs> yeah, like like my threat to invade people's streams and play Mario Kart with them once and then leave. <laughs> that's what that's what guest stars used for. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, my streams they're all just this over and over. They're just this over and over, <laughs> spinning in my chair. <laughs> oh my God, John! <laughs> Rule of you threes, had baby. Th you had uh, your thousandth stream recently. Yeah, I actually had my 1,000th stream the exact same night Extra Life happened. <laughs> yeah, so, funny no. that, but so, it's fine. Bad luck on that one for me. But uh, yeah, no, we have, we celebrated 1,000 streams officially on Twitch. 
Um, next week is my birthday. Tomorrow I'm continuing Xenoblade 1. Uh, Fortune Cookie on Saturday. Monday's my birthday stream because it's my birthday's on Tuesday, but I don't usually stream Tuesdays. And Wednesday next week we're doing uh, whatever stuff, including a sponsored game for a game that's coming out on my birthday. That I technically can't say what it is yet, but everyone knows what it is at this point. And then uh, I'm gone from the 10th to the 15th. I'm going to be over on Gerard, the completionist stream. I'm going to be helping him over with Indie Land. I'm going to be one of the four main co-hosts there during that entire three-day marathon. So you're going to see me over there on the, I believe the 11th to 13th is the actual spread of days, or is it 10th to 12th? Uh, yeah, 11th to 13th. So you'll see me co-hosting over there with a bunch of people. That's going to be a good time there. Otherwise, once I get back, it's just normal schedule till MAGFest. Are you are you excited to to turn 12 this year, John? Oh, finally, man. Are we are we are we mixing it up? Are we am I, is this just I get to roll a dice and whatever number I get, that's my age now? Yeah. Oh god. Don't you know? I'm going to grab the D20. I'm going to regret this. Well, <laughs> nope, nope, nope. They all rolled out instead. So here we go. I got three numbers around here. I see a one. Okay. I see a eleven. Do you have a mod? Do you four. have a modifier? Uh, what is the age modifier normally? Um, it's your charisma. Is that high or low in this case? I can't tell anymore. It's it's high. Oh, thanks. Uh, I got a sixteen on this roll. Okay, so you'll be... Can I rent a car? Yeah, DM roll Dan. for it. Roll for initiative. <laughs> roll for Dan. Okay. What, what DM, what dice do I need for car rental? <laughs> um, well, you need 25 here in America. Okay. Well, actually, technically, I think it's... Tw uh, it's 25 in Canada, too. You can rent a car much earlier, but there's, in there's additional fees. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, do you want the fees... I, I mean, I... <laughs> no, I do not want the fees, Dan. I love it when someone asks me, "Do you want the fees?" <laughs> All right, so that's an order of chicken nuggets, some French fries, and a cola. Would you like some fees with that? Some fees. God. Oh, it turns out, John, you got a twenty-five. Hey, I'm trying. What year was I twenty-five? I'll be six seventy-five. Please hold for the next one. Oh, it's the. <laughs> oh no, it's the year we started TRG. Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> Oh, man. All right. I think that's going to do it for this nonsense this month. Special hey, thanks to Pop special tonsils. <laughs> special <laughs> thanks to Popsky for our theme song, Prism Shard for our logo, Paper Pennies for the beautiful art in our intro, and, of course, our producer is Motion Dan. Uh, next episode, I assume we're aiming for the first Tuesday of December, which is the 6th. Does anyone have anything off the top of their head or no they can't make that for? Uh, my mom might be visiting, but I don't think that would prevent me from doing the podcast. H invite her on. <laughs> I have a calendar, and there is nothing on that day. So, you know, probably not. And I'll let you know if something comes up, but more than likely, no. Um, <laughs> me, me and Erica are just like, you know what? November and December, we ain't doing nothing, because we have been freaking busy. Well, other than MAGFest. MAGFest is like the end of... Yeah, but uh, I think like almost all of us are going to be there. So Yeah. Yo, yeah. if we could do a Disc Only Live, that'd be kind of cool. Oh, God. Well, it's too late to apply for a podcast or for a panel now. It's like the cutoff well, was... I know, I know. Yeah. That's coming, gone. <laughs> well, year. cutoff was yesterday. <laughs> you know, we'll, 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 we'll just go to... Uh, we'll just go to like to, to uh, Cadillac Ranch and set up the podcast set up there. <laughs> we'll just well. do like... What, what, what is that show that they used to like... The trivia cab or whatever it is, they were, you'd get in like a cab and then they oh, would, cash cab, cash, cash cab. cab, yeah. They would have like a like a disco light and they just have like ask you questions. That's what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually get like an Uber and then just pick up random people <laughs> as like an Uber X, but also do the podcast so they're the audience. I thought you were gonna do that the other way around where we get into Ubers and then give trivia questions to the drivers. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. That's a good show. I feel like they have to go through enough crap as it is. I don't think they want to be like, yeah, your tip depends on this. <laughs> oh my god. god oh man uh, no that's added tip it'll be great <laughs> save us all right we'll see y'all on my side i'll see you guys tomorrow for xenoblade and everyone else they've said their schedules bye everybody thank you and have a good rap bye, bye. <laughs> okay so uh
see you in your way? Yeah. I never got... I had a question I was going to ask everyone when we were still on the air, and it, but but I never got a chance to ask it. It, was gonna be it left with your you consciousness. Showered, if you showered it in the morning or at night. You already so asked, asked that. You asked that. Save it for next month. What? No, you already asked that. You asked that. Oh. Oh, I'm I'm a um, morning person. Morning. Nobody asked me. Yeah, John so, Dan. John Dan and I are his, morning, and, and Jared was evening. Historically, I have done it at night. 